I'm Edie Lush, executive editor, Hub Culture. Really pleased now to be here with Lauren Faber O'Connor. She's operating partner at Lower Carbon Capital. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks Glad to so be much. here. Thanks so much for stopping by the camera. So you were at the city of L.A. Yes. and you've moved to running or to being part of a $2 billion fund, yes. a huge fund investing in clean technology. Tell me, what are the lessons that you took from government that you're now using to invest? Yeah. Well, I've been in the climate world for almost 20 years now mm -hmm. and have seen the trajectory of where what's really going to move the needle. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why I felt I needed to be in government and kind of push policies, create what I'd like to think of as sort of the enabling mm -hmm. environment for climate solutions to thrive. And after being moving from sort of the global work into subnational work, really on the ground in local government, where we were building some of the most ambitious decarbonization plans ever seen seen. Um, even then, with such an ambitious goal, I was seeing how difficult it is to, to implement. Mm -hmm. And where I felt like there was a gap, uh, even when we were building some of the most ambitious decarbonization plans out there, recognized by the UN, um, it was still very difficult to find the appropriate solutions mm -hmm. that matched our needs and our targets. And so for me, it was a real aha moment that we've gotten to the point where Commitments aren't as controversial as they used to be, right. but the solutions and deploying capital into the solutions that really are going to work for the, the people that are taking ambitious mm -hmm. action, that's where we are right now. The tip of the spear is deploying capital. The tip of the spear is getting solutions to market. And so that's where I wanted to be. Interesting. So you're employing venture capital yes. from pre-seed all the way to Series B, so you're able to do follow-on investments. Tell me some of the areas that you think could move the needle the most. Where are you most excited? So Lower Carbon Capital is an incredible, incredible company. We have co-founders who have come from VC, have come from government, coming together and understanding that there's a real role to play for venture in climate, that actually there's a market for venture-style returns uh, in climate tech, which I don't know that you would have said, mm. you know, 10 years ago, uh, but this is the way of the future. This is the way of our global economy. And what's exciting about a place like Lower Carbon, which has such immense scale, is that we're in kind of everything. Mm -hmm. We're in energy, we're in agriculture, we're in materials, critical minerals, and we have an entire fund dedicated to fusion, which, you know, can be an entirely new amazing unlock mm. when we get there not if but when we get there when do you think that'll be oh we're gonna see we're gonna see real results and demonstrations this decade wow yeah no there's there's no question at this point it's a, it's incredibly exciting and and we're seeing uh, you know we're seeing different types of solutions being deployed across mm -hmm. our, our portfolio um, and so I'm we are bullish across the sectors uh, some of the most exciting things I'm seeing are in industrial materials and critical minerals now that there's so much emphasis on scope three which mm -hmm. can be quite mind-boggling yeah. we actually have so much more information about mm. the types the the sources of emissions that we need to get at which is great for people like us it's great that we have so much better understanding and insight into the market so just to dive into that a little bit, give me an example of, of something within critical minerals that you think is impressive. Oh, gosh. Well, one of our portfolio companies, Lilac, they have uh, they started out with a technology that really was going to make a much more efficient and cleaner process mm -hmm. to extract lithium from brines, mm -hmm. less water intensive uh, and much more cost effective because you get so much more and you don't need the um, level of purity in the brines. So very exciting. Mm -hmm. But then, as you start a business, you start to see actually it makes sense for them to own and invest in the assets of the mines themselves. Mm -hmm. So they've become almost an asset manager at the same time. So you see the beginning of a company, the beginning of an idea, and you see it grow into an entirely other type of company that is attracting different types of capital mm. and operating in different parts of the world. So we're really bullish about our lithium companies and Lilac is a great example. Fantastic. Lauren, I'd love to go through all your companies. We'll have to leave it here. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by Hub Culture and I'm Edie Lush.